Hi YouTube. All right, so today I'm going to give you guys a little quick tabletop review of a couple of flashlights that I have. Now I have the two flashlights here. They are both Ultrafire, and this one here is the Ultrafire XML T6, and this one here is the Ultrafire WF 501B. Both flashlights are uh, are not bad. I've uh, purchased them both on eBay, and I like both of them. Uh, but I deliberately bought uh, the two different models just so that I could uh, test them both out and see which one I liked more. I thought I'd share some of that uh, information with you guys. So for starters, this one here, the uh, XML T6, uh, has uh, three or four different modes. Uh, it's got you know low, medium, and then strobe, and it also has SOS on it. And it also has a zoom feature where you can on here where you can zoom in and out when you turn the light on. I'll give you guys a demonstration here. There's the strobe. There's SOS. Solid. Low. There you go. So that's not bad. I, I, like I said, I don't mind. I don't mind that at all in this light. And I got it just to try and see if I liked the, you know, just having those different modes on it. And it's all right. It's it served my purposes, and I've I've used it a few times out camping, uh, and I threw it in my hunting pack a time or two. And it's all right. The one thing I don't like about this one is that sometimes maybe you know you're in a bit of a hurry. I grab the light. I want to you know just turn it on just to get light. And sometimes you know you, you maybe you push the button too hard or too fast to get it on, and you end up in a, you know a mode you didn't want. And that happened to me a time or two. It wasn't the end of the world. It was just I found that a little bit frustrating when I want to just turn the light on and use it as opposed to having to sit there and, and click the button to get to the mode I want. So not a bad model. And and the modes work and the, and I, and it's not bad, but um, because of that was why I went out and bought the WF five hundred one B from Ultrafire. Now this one here also has the option uh, to have uh, three modes: low, medium, and high. Uh, or you can get this model with just a single uh, mode, which is what I have here. So this one here just has one single mode off and on. And now I find that the uh, uh, the five hundred one B. I personally, I th I think, and this is just my opinion. I think that this one is brighter uh, than this one. But it is, my research tells me that they're fairly close. I think the lumens are both right around, you know, right around twelve hundred lumens each, according to the internet. I, uh, you know, whether or not. These are made to, to those specifications. I, I really couldn't tell you. I kind of tend to think that maybe some of those numbers that you get on eBay and, and these types of places, are, maybe there's a little bit of marketing there. But either way, uh, both flashlights are do put out a significant amount of light. And I've used them both, uh, you know, like I said, camping and, and hunting and, you know, just around the campfire and stuff. And I found that they both work just fine. And I they, they put out enough light to do what I need them to do. And I don't have any issues with it. One thing I will show you that's the same with both of these flashlights is the battery. Now, these flashlights use a rechargeable battery. And again, you can find these on eBay. They're fairly common. They are... There they are there. So these are 3.7 volt lithium ion batteries made by Ultrafire. I'll just scroll that back just so you guys can have a good look at that. Ultra Fire. Now, these batteries I found um, hold a charge really well. I've had uh, I've had both these flashlights for a while now, and I haven't had any issues with recharging them or you know the battery is not holding a charge. I found that they are both fairly well. Um, you know, rechargeable, and they they work just fine. So, uh, you know, there are there are those reviews out there that would say that uh, the, the the rechargeable batteries that come with these lights are garbage and are junk. I haven't had that problem. Um, past past versions of these similar models of lights that I've had had rechargeable batteries. Maybe there were some earlier models by Ultrafire, and the rechargeable batteries in those ones weren't that great. But the rechargeable batteries I have in these two right now. Uh, I have no issues with at all, and uh, you can find them the the batteries on you know they're on eBay and Amazon and they're not 
expensive. I think they're a couple of dollars each. And if you look around, you can also find uh, the battery plus a battery charger. You know, it comes as a package deal, right? For, you know, four or five dollars uh, from China. Now, I got to be honest, I, you know, I, I looked into buying, you know, some of the higher end lights. You know, there's Olight and there's some of these other big name brand lights out there. These tactical LED type lights. And I looked into buying them and I, I kind of tended to come back to this simply because... Well, A, I'm not in the military, uh, you know, nor am I a police officer, Do I? and I don't have a, a need for maybe sort of that, so much of the tactical. I was more about wanting, you know, a bright LED light for, you know, for camping and hunting. So I thought I'd try these out, and, uh, you know, they weren't, they were, these were not, these lights weren't expensive. I, I think I only paid maybe $10 each at the time, and I've been happy with them. I, I really have no complaints for the money I paid. Uh, they've worked out just fine. So, you know, that's that's what you want, right? You want to spend your money and have it at least work for you. So, and that's what I've got here. Now, just to compare, you've seen the light power on these two. Now, this this one here is just your typical, this one here is Voltax. Now, this is the those small lights that you find in like a three-pack at Walmart. Yeah, you know, I think they're $5 or something. You get them in like the, the hardware section. Uh, now, the, I'll give you guys a the light I don't know if how well that shows up, but the the light coming off this this other little one is nowhere near as as bright and as powerful as the ultra fire lights. Uh, it's just not, you know. Obviously, I mean this 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 light here runs on your AAA batteries, which is fine. And when I bought this this three pack of lights at the time, it was all I really needed. You know, these kind of just put one in the door of the truck, and you know, there's one in the kitchen drawer. Kind of deal, you know, for a power outage. And that's great. I mean, for, for what they are, they, they work just fine. They run on a couple of batteries and they're good to have kicking around. But to compare these ones with the Ultrafire, uh, there's really, it really is no comparison. But again, if, you know, if money is an issue and maybe you don't have, you know, a whole pile of money, maybe, you know, these smaller flashlights that run on AAA batteries, maybe that's that's all you can afford. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, they, they do they do work, and they, they'll, uh, you know, definitely having this is better than having nothing. Um, but I would definitely recommend, uh, for those wondering, to get um, the Ultra Fire Lights as opposed to, you know, some of the lower branded uh, lights from places like Walmart and Home Depot. Uh, just... Again, they, you know, they, they put up more lumens. They're better quality. I mean, this, uh, these, these ultra fire lights. In you know, in my experience thus far, uh, they're they're definitely a better build. They're definitely more sturdy. I mean, I, I've I've had these little ones where I've dropped them and they break, um, or they don't, you know, they don't turn 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 on after you drop them. So, as where I've I've dropped this one a couple of times and it works just fine right afterwards. No, I haven't had any issues. So. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys, uh, you know, these lights and in case somebody's out there, you know, looking around wondering, well, what's what's the a good kind of light? Are those ultra fire lights any good? Uh, yeah, I would say that, you know, for the amount of money you pay, that they're not bad and they, they'll do everything you need them to do. And, you know, you're not going to break the bank buying a couple of them. But again, if, if you're into, you know, you want to spend the, spend some of that bigger bucks on, you know, some of the bigger name brand lights, absolutely. If that's, if that's your thing and, and you got that kind of money, by all means, go for it. Um, but, uh, you know, we don't all have lots of money. So I kind of thought that uh, I'd do a review for, you know, the lights and, and these types of things, this type of gear that's, you know, maybe a little easier to afford and come by uh, for those of us that, uh, well, we're just not rich. So anyways, there it is, the Ultrafire XML T6 and the Ultrafire WF501B. Just wanted to show you guys that, and I hope that uh, helps somebody. All right, guys, have a good day, and I'll see you on the next video.